Alright, thank you very much for joining me. This is Gold Pain back again with a quick pickups video and I'm just going to go through some, some random pickups. They might all be for the same system, I don't know, I just put them in a pile here. So let's have a quick look. So first up we've got uh, Valkyria Chronicles for the PSP. This is, a, this is really good actually. Um, I saw a lot of the PlayStation 4 ones. Um, it's kind of had a bit of a resurgence I think at the moment. So I got this just to see what the series was like. Um, only like £12 in CEX, so it's pretty good. Um, it's just basically like a strategy, a kind of a strategy RPG where you have to like place your characters and there's like a war going on, pretty good story. So it's a pretty good pickup, uh, Valkyrie Chronicles. Uh, next up, this was a birthday present. This is a Persona 4 Golden. So my girlfriend got me a PSP and it didn't, it didn't come with any games. I guess the consoles don't come with games anymore. But um, I got this and another one, which I'll show in a while as well. But um, yeah, Persona 4 Golden, this is amazing. Everyone was saying this was the best RPG or one of the best RPGs and they're right. It's, it's, it's amazing, it's top drawer. Very, very good game. Uh, next up we got uh, Moonlighter on the old Switch. So this one, um, I haven't actually tried this yet, but I got this um, from my girlfriend as a present to see what it was like. So it's kind of like one of my pickups. But yeah, I saw Mr. Fruit playing it and it looks really, really good. Um, it's like a dungeon crawler and then you have to get items and you have to sell the items in a shop and then people come in and kind of, they, if, they, if the price is too high, they won't buy it. And if it's too low, um, you don't make any money. So I don't know, it seems like a good game. Uh, next up for the DS is, uh, I wanted this for a while, and this was a Christmas present. Um, it's Suikin and Tearchris, and I got this ages ago, but um, it's basically, it's just one of the best RPGs I've played. <laughs> but it's certainly one of the best on the DS as well. Now, I love the Suikin and series anyway, but this one, um, I don't know how you describe it, it's like, it's, it's similar to the other Suikin and games, it's just kind of um, a bit watered down a bit, like the battle system, there's not that much magic. Every character is roughly the same, I, you know, some of them are maybe a bit better at magic, um, or a bit better at attacking, but you just keep using the same moves. But I really like the story, and I'm like 60 hours into it at the moment, so really, really good. Um, I got this one, I haven't tried this yet, but I got it for 99p in game. So I saw it for 99p and I was like, I'll pick that up. Um, it's Locke's Quest, I believe it's on other consoles as well. But it looks like it's some sort of, I haven't tried this yet, but it looks like a building sim or something like that. So I was hoping it was going to be like a, some kind of platformer, but looking for the back of it, it looks like a building sim. So Locke's Quest, let's see what it's like. Uh, keeping it with DS, this is a uh, Chrono Trigger. This is top drawer, such a good game. I played it um, on Super Nintendo emulator, but it's nice to have the DS copy as well. I'm about halfway through it at the moment. Um, I'm just up to where you get the, the girl who's like, um, she's they're prehistoric, I don't know how to describe it, she's like a cave woman or something like that. So you get her and I'm just on that, that part there. I haven't actually finished this yet. Um, the last time I played it was a few years ago, it was on a SNES emulator and I got up to like the, um, the bit where you have to race the bike in the, I don't know, like the underworld, not the underworld, the, the world that's not very good, the the future world. Uh, next up, this is Bravely Default. This is a fantastic RPG for the 3DS as well. Um, just really, really good. It's quite like um, Final Fantasy mixed with Final Fantasy Tactics, or maybe it's maybe well, I haven't played the Final Fantasy games where you have a job system, so I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is uh, it's really well voiced, and the the. Um, the, the voice acting is very good, but also the script is very good as well. It's quite funny at times, and the gameplay is excellent as well. And I'm almost finished this, I'm at, right at the end of it. So I don't really like finishing games, because then if that's like, oh, that's it. But if I leave a bit at the end, I can kind of come back to it when, I'm, when I want to. And this is uh, tra Trails in the Sky, The Legend of Heroes. So it's like the special edition or something. It's got like an, it's got like an art book and post, post, postcard or something with it. But yeah, this one is, um, this was also a Christmas present. So this was on my list for a while because I quite, I heard um, a lot about these games and I heard they were really good. So tri uh, Trials in the Sky, I have no idea, I haven't played it yet. So I really gotta, I really gotta start playing some of these. You just pick them up and then you don't play them and then you pick up more and then you don't play them. I don't know. Here's a couple of PS4 ones. Um, this is a uh, Tales from the Borderlands. This is really, really good. Um, it's kind of like uh, The Walking Dead, um, a new frontier, uh, not a new frontier, uh, the Telltale Walking Dead games, where it's kind of, you don't really do much, you just kind of progress the story and you might move a little bit here and there, but not really that much, not as much as other games, but top drawer, really, really good game. Totally recommend that one. And last up um, in this video is Broken Sword, Broken Sword 5, The Serpent's Curse. This is amazing. This is just like, it's, it's like the original Broken Sword games, the first two. Um, 
I don't really count three and four. Three is not great. Four is is four is good actually because it's kind of more like the old-fashioned ones. But um, three, I didn't really like it. But Broken Sword Five is absolutely top drawer. Uh, really, really good. George Stobart and Nico, they haven't aged a, a day between the two of them. And uh, there's another kind of adventure here again. It's 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 he goes to England in this one. Um, and yeah, it's just a really good game. I just can't get over how good these games are. I hope to keep releasing them forever. Okay, that's a few recent pickups for me. Um, if you've got uh, any pickups you've done recently, um, uh, leave either like tell me where the video is, like leave a link um, to your pickups video in the in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Gullpain for more pickup videos and video game related content soon. Adios. Thank you very much.